Uh, hello guys, I am Farooq Amjanji. Uh, currently, I am doing PhD in Chemistry. Uh, this university opened the admission call. So if you are interested, then you can apply in this beautiful university. So let's start with the admission process, how to apply in the Gdansk University of Technology. First of all, you have to follow this link. I will share in the description. You have to click the admission process and then first of all you have to check the eligibility criteria because it's very important so if you have a master degree from your native country or elsewhere then you can apply for the phd program if the diploma has not been issued then uh, you you can you, you can submit a declaration form but your degree uh, should be ready before 30 september so this this is this is the eligibility criteria for the admission process then you have to click the admission process and follow this step before applying to the university you should contact with your potential supervisor uh, so uh, you you can check this list of supervisor and then uh, click on your uh, concern discipline like chemical science then you have to check how many seats and what is the research area and then you can go through this file and check the your research area it's your profile but you should look at the this box because some professor are not accepting the foreigners and some are accepting so you should uh, look at care look carefully otherwise uh, you will send the email to the professor and he or she will not reply because uh, they have no position for foreigners so in this case this professor is accepting foreigners as well as polish and he has three positions so if you have research area uh, close to this then you can apply uh, to this professor then you have to check the check these type of questions then you have to follow step two in this step you will see there are two types of phd position one is basic type doctoral school phd third cycle program and second one is industrial phd position so you have to choose basic type doctoral school uh, for this you you will follow this link to uh, register yourself it's very easy you have to create your account and follow this steps name second name and after this uh, your account will be created so after this you have to pay the fees so the currently the the fees is 300 zloty if i convert in pakistan rupees it should be close to 20,000 so it's not a big deal uh, because after your admission you will receive a lot of money so don't hesitate to pay the fees then follow the step 4 in step 4 the submission of the documents to the doctoral school you should check the list because it's very important most of the students they are making mistake while submitting documents so for uh, this doctoral system uh, you have to submit 10 documents first one is your receipt confirmation payment fee silp then diploma certificate if it's not ready then uh, you can uh, download the these type of files but your diploma should be ready before this deadline otherwise your admission will be cancelled you cannot apply for this phd positions and then your grades mark certificate if it's not available then you have to uh, create such a such type of document that clearly show that uh, you passed the grades CGPA percentage but most of uh, most of the case in the Pakistan and India people they have a grades list so don't worry about this confirmation of uh, obtaining highest scored uh, scientific achievements in this uh, document you have a uh, publication if you have publication then your admission chances will be higher 
here in Poland there there is uh, means the points so if you have publication in good journal like in 200 then your admission chance will be higher means the points can be 20 40 70 100 140 200 so it depends on the general and depend on their uh, discipline if you have uh, no publication then you can uh, submit your uh, um, post presentation or any conference that will also help because here they will consider your all of achievements so don't worry about this and number six a statement of your potential supervisor uh, is called as uh, acceptance letters um, here they consider the declaration letter so don't mix these two <laughs> terms these both are same in this uh, declaration your supervisor will write your potential topic and uh, you have to read about this before uh, interview because they will ask about your potential topic that uh, uh, what type of research you will do and uh, uh, what is your what what will be your achievements and uh, what will be the socio-economic impact of your research so these are possible questions uh, maybe they will ask in your interview number seven English profession certificates uh, about this you have to submit your English profession certificate that's enough and then there is CV and one color photograph and this is a specification of your photograph so when you prepare your photograph then you have to follow this size and also these pixels then last one is printed from printed for from the university's application system and signed by the application uh, once again check your whole document before submitting this because this is very important and then this is there is formal in this fifth step they will evaluate your documents in first year they will check your criteria if you are eligible then they will follow the second step in second step they will check your grades and your achievements and third step uh, they will check your uh, interview result so interview uh, will be conducted in english so you have to be ready for the interview and in the end there are some type of grade system so if your score is above the three then your decision should be positive so in case of publication if you have a publication 200 points and then it should be five out of five and if you pass the interview and uh, if they ask question five or six and you will answer uh, four then it should be four but five and four so in the final statement uh, they will they will send you an email if you are accepted so this was all about the admission process of this university if you have any question you can uh, ask me and because i am doing phd here so i am available to help you and uh, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends